In this video, you're gonna learn how to avoid having to reassign your hardware in main stage every time you show up to play at a specific venue. It's super simple. I was doing it the wrong way for multiple years and finally figured out a way that makes the most sense. So let me teach you how to do it. Okay, folks, so full disclosure, for a couple of years, I gave people really bad advice about how to do this. For a long time, I was just telling people, if you have multiple hardware configurations, different MIDI controllers, just save a concert per configuration. And then when you're at home, save your patches, and then put them in a different concert, depending on the venue that you're in. Well, I learned over time that Mainstage actually has a much simpler and less labor intensive way to change between different hardware configurations. So in order for me to teach you how to do this, first I need to let you know what it's called. You can export and import a layout into a main stage concert. So to start off with, we're gonna go over to layout mode. So essentially what this allows you to do is assign the MIDI hardware that you like to your on-screen workspace and then save it or export it as a layout. Then you can make different hardware assignments for a different playing scenario and export that layout as well. Then when you arrive at whatever venue, you just import that layout back into your concert and all of the MIDI assignments you've previously made will load right back into the concert. So let's say here that I'm playing at home and I wanna assign this volume slider to something on screen. So I'm gonna click on what I want to assign and we will assign it real quick. So now that I've made modifications to this concert back in the day, I would just tell you to save it as another concert named plus volume slider or something clunky like that. But now all you have to do is click the settings cog in the top right corner and then click export layout. It's almost like the folks that made main stage knew what they were doing when they made it. So you can save a layout file anywhere you'd like on your computer. I just recommend thinking through this and, and creating a folder somewhere, probably within your main stage folder called layout files or something that you will remember. And then just name each of your layouts something that will really clearly explain the hardware that that layout was exported including. So I'll just name it SKM Audio, and then I'll export it. Now the next time I was in this specific hardware configuration, I would just load this concert up, go to layout mode, click the settings cog, and choose import layout. Then MainStage would just ask me to locate the layout file that I wanted to use and I'd click import. Now you'll get a warning that when you import a layout, you can't undo that. And just go ahead and click continue import. And then depending on the differences between your current layout and the imported layout, it might take five to 10 seconds for that layout to load. You might see a bunch of screen controls disappear and flash. Don't worry, it's just main stage sorting out what's there, taking it out and then adding in the new layout. Then once you're loaded in, you will be good to go. You can go over to edit mode or perform mode. You can have as many different layouts as you would like. Now there are a couple restrictions on this that I have found. It works perfectly when it comes to remembering hardware assignments, but I've run into some unpredictability or some lost mappings when a layout will include text boxes or on-screen controls that another layout file does not include. So I don't recommend that you get too crazy with removing or adding in on-screen controls. I really recommend that you use this primarily for remembering MIDI assignments to your physical hardware. But if that's what you're trying to do, this is the fastest and easiest way to do it. It takes about two seconds to load in a layout file and about that long to create one too. So I hope that you'll tuck this away. I've been doing this instead of having multiple concert files and it's really streamlined my workflow. Leave a comment and let me know if you're already doing this. Maybe I was one of the last people to figure it out, but I really don't think so. Like I said, I was doing it this way for several years before I figured out this layout based technique. So leave a comment and let me know what your experience has been. Now, if you're using MainStage, we have tons of free resources to help you use it to its fullest potential. So be sure to check the links in the description to find more free MainStage tutorials. And I'll also include a link to our number one done for you Sunday Keys MainStage template, which is designed to make MainStage fun and easy to use. And it's gonna make you sound amazing if you're playing worship keys. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss our next MainStage tutorial. Have a great day.